Okay, well, hi guys, and thank you so, so much for having me. Um, as Bill stated a little bit, um, I work in promotions for a radio station, so I'm here to tell you that there is more than just on air. Well, that's wonderful, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic job to be on air and do all the programming, but I got hooked as soon as I jumped into promotions. I went to school with the intention on wanting to do an on-air personality, which I won't say I wouldn't want to do that now, but once I found out about promotions and all that goes into it, I mean, I'm still in it, so I got hooked real quick into it. I actually got a promotions internship at KISS FM, um, so I'm sure you guys are familiar with that station. It's a clear channel station, so that's, they have GCI, VO 103, they have, um, I think it's El Patron now, it was Mega. Um, I'm missing one of them, they have something else, oh, My FM. Um, so that was really interesting because that was kind of like the first radio experience that I got. And when I started, I thought that, you know, oh, it's promotions, it's okay, but I want to be on air. And then after I started kind of working there, I realized that promotions is really cool. And it's actually arguably, I would say, more fun than being on air because you kind of get all the benefits of it and you get to play on everything. And you're kind of, without realizing it, you are kind of the face of the station because you're the one who goes out, you meet everybody, and then when they think of the station, they think of you as opposed to you just being the voice. So you, I don't know, it's kind of cool because you feel, I wouldn't say more important than you are, but, but kind of because <laughs> it upsets the jocks a little bit when, you know, people come out and they're like, oh, how are you? Who are you? So, but I mean, it's, it's a good time. So with that, I realized even more that I really liked radio because I feel like, you know, no matter if it's college radio, normal radio, sports radio, anything, it's all, you do, it's very similar. It's all the same. Like you follow the same guidelines, the same promotions, at least from my experience. I visited the CBS job board because CBS, you know, seemed like a really great company and I still believe that. And I applied for a job as a promotions coordinator and I was offered the job at WJMK while I was still in school. And I've been there now a year and a half. I just recently changed positions. As you guys were told, I'm now the promotions manager. So that was very exciting. So I guess I'm also here to say that it does happen. So you can move up in the company, I promise. So um, it, it was a hard wait and it was a lot of work, but I'm extremely excited to be in the position I am because as soon as I had that first internship at a radio station, uh, you know, that was it. I didn't even, I couldn't even think of a different plan in my head. I thought, you know, I want to work in radio promotions and that's what I want to do. And you can do it. Um, so our station features, like I was uh, mentioning, we're trying to brand ourselves as a Beatles station. And on Wednesdays, we do this thing called Beatles Wednesday, which is not that clever, but I don't know, it works for us. Um, so we play at least two Beatles songs an hour. Um, and it's usually at the beginning and the end of uh, the hour. Um, you notice it in the office. I definitely hear a lot of Beatles, but they're good. Uh, we do a lot of free ticket weekends. Uh, right now we're doing things like, I think we're giving away Elton John, Rod Stewart tickets. Uh, we have music specials. Uh, this doesn't happen a ton. Um, definitely not like when you think of like the light where they do that, you know, they start their Christmas, or their My FM now, I'm sorry. Um, when they start their Christmas stuff in like October and uh, run it through like March. So uh, we, don't, <laughs> we don't do that so much. Uh, we do a little bit of holiday music. So. We try to do, um, like, you know, Rod Stewart has a Christmas album, so we'll play one of his songs, but very subtly. So we, we do do some theme weekends and some theme things when it comes to the holidays. Uh, nothing too crazy, though. And then, of course, we have our big promotions and contests. Um, we do a ton of stuff like this. We just sent people to St. Lucia. Uh, we do Caribbean cruises. Um, I was fortunately, here's another perk for promotions, guys. I went to Mexico last year with Eddie Money. That's not so much the perk, but it was a good time. Um, so we definitely, we send people, we do vacations all the time. Um, it's awesome because it really gets people into your station. Like, of course, if you give people stuff, but 
you really get to know the listeners this way too and definitely um, kind of sets you aside. There's the amount of vacations we give away compared to any other station, I can't even believe it. I, it's, I mean, it's like every week, it's a new vacation. So you guys can listen if you'd like to win. And then the biggest question on how does radio make money? So uh, working in radio, you definitely realize there's a lot than, more than just on-air personalities and promotions. There's a bunch of different divisions that I would have never even been able to think of before I started working there. Um, so we make our money basically, most of it is through sales, um, on-air spots, uh, events through our NTR department, which is non-traditional revenue. Website digital sales is a huge one right now. That's probably our biggest, where we make all of our money to have you know website listings. Um, it's unbelievable how popular it is. And then of course, the custom programs where you could kind of combine everything. And as you can see, the ratings are very in intimately tied in with those. So you have good ratings, you are very much more likely that a big company is gonna buy into your radio station, advertise, give you the money you need you know, to keep going. So let me tell you a little bit about radio marketing. Um, marketing promotions obviously is very tied together. So we have our traditional, the TV, outdoor billboards, the direct mail, and the newspaper. Uh, we very heavily do direct mail. Um, we haven't had a billboard in a while. Uh, we're getting onto that. TV, uh, we have not done something like that. And I, I don't think you see a lot of that in radio to begin with. Um, there are some TV ads that we do do, and we definitely could being a CBS station, but we haven't yet. Uh, Non-traditional, huge, we definitely have a station website, we have a Twitter, we have a Facebook, you're all free to follow. Um, banner ads, and then of course, this is where I think a lot of people think of promotions especially, that's all of the out community outreach, and we are very, very heavy on that being a new station. So we are at everything that you could possibly think of. Um, every like Chicago Street Fest we're at, we're at all the parades, it gets exhausting, but it's fun. So. Um, at least you have a reason to go to all of them because I don't think I would otherwise. And then of course we have mobile street signs, mobile trucks and airplane towing shot signs. Also not something that we use but it is a very important part of marketing. Here are examples I said we use mail. Um, these are some of our marketing examples. So these are really fun. Like I said we give away some pretty cool prizes, if I do say so myself, and that's being as most unbiased as I can be. They're cool. I mean, last year we gave away a car, so that was really exciting. So everyone got $500 plus qualified to win a new car. Um, this was just, you know, $500, an easy way to win $250, and then on, around the holidays we did a $500 shopping spree. So everyone, someone won $500 a day to go shopping. They were really cool, and um, they're really fun to design. I am specifically the promotions manager, so I get to play with all the legal stuff and make sure that we're complying. Um, so we definitely do the contest. That's a huge part of our job as coordinators, even if you're interning and as the manager. Um, and that's online, um, and we do on-air. So we have website and on-air contests, and then we do event contests. So that could be you know registering to win an event or just you know just our normal kind of trivia that we do. Um, then we have the events, the appearances, and broadcasts. And there is a difference between client events and there's a difference between marketing events. So marketing events is when we find it and we think that it would fit our demographic really well and we want to partner with someone and it's trade media so they don't pay, we don't pay, we just kind of exchange. They let us come, we advertise for them for free. And then there's the client events where you know, we just did one. We're paired right now with Canyon, uh, Canyon Creek Ranch. I should know that. Um, it's a animal food company so uh, we go to different pet stores and we'll you know hand out samples have a personality come and we're paid to do that so you got to go to those ones and then we have the legal auditing and compliance which is making sure that we follow all the rules so every time we have a promotion like the cash and cars thing I was telling you about we have to write all the rules for that um, and that's both the material terms that are read on air uh, once an hour and then also the rules that are online um, we have to keep very good care of the prize winner records because it has private information on there. Uh, we definitely need to make sure that, you know, we get their IDs, we verify their identity, make sure everyone's getting the right prizes. 
Uh, make sure the proper paperwork is filled out. If someone's winning, you know, $600 or more, we have to make sure their W-9 is in. And then we have this lovely little program called Promo Suite that is supposed to eliminate our paper and uh, keep everything organized, but it's like from 1999, so I don't know. It's working though. Uh, but this is probably, out of everything, the most important when it comes to promotions. Um, because whereas, you know, when you're doing on-air stuff, if your ratings are not good, you might not make it. If you break the law, you're in a little bit more trouble, which is a little frustrating and it can get very uh, hectic. Um, but it's very important. Listeners? Um, oh, geez. Yeah, one, yeah, like I was going to say, like, I think it's a little bit higher now. I think we're at like 1.3 million. So what it does is um, it's registered. So whoever lives in your household, it's registered to each of you, whether you're male or female, um, and what age group you fit in. So whenever you're listening to the radio or you're watching TV, it picks up the waves from it and it um, records it. And at night, you plug it into this little thing that sends back the rating to Arbitron. So if you're walking in our engineering department, there's all these things. They all say Arbitron. They're blinking all the time because they're recording and seeing um, where the person was, how old they are. And that's how we get all of those ratings. Like who's listening, what our age group is, male or female.